हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन पी ब्लॉक पार्ट 54 इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम दिस इज द इंटर हेलोजन कंपाउंड्स इन फैक्ट वी हैव डिस्कस दिस व्हेन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द रिएक्शन ऑफ हेलोजन विद अदर हेलोजन सो इंटर हेलोजन कंपाउंड्स आर कंपाउंड व्हिच हैज टू डिफरेंट हेलोजेंस राइट टू डिफरेंट हेलोजन दे रिएक्ट विद ईच अदर टू फॉर्म इंटर हेलोजन कंपाउंड वी हैव डिस्कस दिस इट हैज ऑफ दिस फॉर्म x x डैश और x x डैश 3 x x डैश 5 एंड x x डैश 7 right for x x dash we had so many options clf icl brf ibr the list is long for x x dash 3 i have clf3 and i have brf3 i have icl3 i have if3 for x x dash 5 the example as brf5 if5 clf5 For x x dash, the only example is IF seven. Also, we discussed that in x x dash, this is a bigger size, and this is smaller size. This is again more electropositive. This is uh, we have seen that as per the naming convention, uh, the first one is more electropositive, the second one is more electronegative. Example, if you see, fluorine is more electronegative than chlorine. Chlorine is more electronegative than bromine. chlorine is more electronegative than iodine or uh, yeah, bromine is more electronegative than iodine in this of chlorine is more electronegative than iodine okay also the ratio of the radii of uh, my x and x dash or the ratio of the electronegativity also of x and x dash or actually the, the size the ratio of the radii actually that determines the number of molecules central atom can have for example iodine and fluorine the ratio is maximum correct you take the electronegativity radius or the uh, the radius of atom it's all same because they follow the same trend so in this case the ratio is maximum so you get in if7 this is the minimum uh, this is the most electronegative this is the minimum electronegative in halogens okay so that way if7 is the only compound okay so for other examples if you want you can see uh, bromine and uh, iodine ibr3 so if you see brf5 we have br f br3 brf5 but we don't have brf7 okay so if you see icl we have icl we have icl3 we don't have icl5 so it all depends on the ratio of electronegativity of uh, these two compound which i'm talking about more is the ratio i have more number of bonds we'll talk about the preparation of inter halogen compound that is directly by combination of two halogen for example chlorine plus chlorine we have seen this reaction at 473 kelvin you heat you get clf equal volume if you take uh, fluorine and as axis you get a uh, clf3 573 kelvin similarly chlorine will react directly with iodine equal volume you get cli we get cli no we'll get icl why because chlorine is more electronegative so i write chlorine on the right side my again iodine react with the uh, chlorine here i have chlorine excess i get icl3 similarly i can react bromine with fluorine here it is uh, diluted with water diluted with water so you get 2 brf3 same thing my bromine with uh, fluorine here fluorine is an axis you get brf5 so again the lesson is you get inter halogen compound by heating two different halogen now again depending on which one is axis and the temperature you get different type of inter halogen compound talk about the proper let's see the inter halogen compounds we discussed about this inter halogen compounds you prepare by direct combination of two halogen compounds and you talk about the properties of these inter halogen compounds they are all covalent and we discussed why they are covalent because these inter halogen compounds x and x dash both are my uh halogens and both of them are not willing to give electron since none of them are willing to give electron 
to form a bond sharing of electron is the only possibility and sharing of electron gives covalent bond all are covalent bond okay and they are all dimagnetic okay and uh, they are some gas they are liquid they are solid they have all state their melting point and boiling point is higher than the parent halogen is higher than my parent halogen okay for example cl and f the melting point boiling point is higher than chlorine and fluorine respectively the third is they are more reactive this is pretty interesting they are more reactive than parent halogen why because x x dash bond is weaker than x x bond or x dash x dash bond for example here clf clf bond is weaker than chlorine chlorine bond or fluorine fluorine bond okay or let's suppose i take ibr so here ibr bond is weaker than i a bond or br br bond right so if you see the properties this clf is colored as gas brf is pale brown grass similarly for clf3 this is colored as gas brf3 is a yellow green liquid if3 is yellow powder icl3 is orange solid IF5 is colorless gas. So they have different combinations. We talk about the structure. These XX3 is bent T shape. XX5, they are all square pyramidal. And this uh, X, X, this shaman is pentagonal bipyramidal. We have discussed this actually. Okay. And if you talk about this uh, hydrolysis, let's talk about the hydrolysis. All these undergo hydrolysis all these halogens they undergo hydrolysis and they give halide ions they give halide ions okay from the smaller halogen so this for example in this x x dash so this one will give, will give a halide Ion. Sorry, this one is smaller, right? X dash is, yeah. So this one will give a halide ion, X dash, because this is smaller. Halide ion from smaller halogen. Okay. And it will give one more uh, acid, I can say, hypohalous acid. Or hypohalic acid it will depend hypohalic sometimes halide sometimes per halide and that will be from this one the bigger one for example I'll take you an example for example x x dash when you react with water this one x minus is a smaller one here it will give what it will give halide ion okay that is h x dash and you'll get h o x this is my hypohalous acid okay similarly if it is x x dash 3 with water you'll again get h x dash that is for sure but here you'll get H O two X. This is halite. If it is X X dash five kind of thing, it'll again react with water. It'll again get H X dash. That is for sure. Plus here it will give H O three X. That is halite and x x dash 7 it will react with water to form x x dash plus h o 4 x that is per halide we have seen this this is 
hypohalite this is halite this is halite this is perhalite okay and these shapes also you can actually derive using my uh, using the vspr theory we will see one example later so that's all about the property of this interhalogen compound this is point to be noted these are more reactive than my parent hal uh, halogens and they all covalent bond they have higher melting point and boiling point and uh, on hydrolysis they all undergo hydrolysis they give halide ions from the smaller one give halide ions and from the bigger one it gives sometimes uh, hypohalite sometimes halide sometimes halide sometimes perhalide ion okay now let's talk about the uses of uh, this um, interhalogen compounds so it is used as non aqueous solvent places where we don't need aqueous and we need a solvent we need we sometimes use this non interhalogen compounds as non aqueous solvent we also use this as fluorinating agent fluorinating agent this is used as fluorinating agent and uh, at least clf6 and brf3 they are used for production of ux uf6 in the enrichment of the uranium for example u can react with clf6 we can you get uf6 and 3 cl5 is uranium 235 actually so it is used for the enrichment of the nuclear fuel you can say okay thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again